it. Right, this is Bill. He's a uh, three-year-old male Labrador Retriever, and he's fully trained. We're going to use him to show you what the finished product should look like. Now, what we're what I'm doing here is taking my time. I want this dog to to get a lot of practice at sitting a long time. So not gonna get in any hurry. Put lots of temptation out there. Now, what we're gonna do is let this dog sit a while. One of the major faults that, that uh, most people tend to do with these dogs is to train them to expect to go quickly all the time. We want a dog that'll sit there for half an hour if he needs to while you're shooting, shooting ducks, working ducks, whatever you're doing with them. So we have to teach him to expect to sit there. So we don't send him immediately every time something falls out of the air. And we're also gonna talk, talk a lot while he's sitting there, give him some distraction. You, you want him where he'll sit and not go every time you pump your gun or click your safety and that sort of thing. So we're gonna have a lot of distraction in there. And now after we've let him sit here for a while, we'll go ahead and, and, and pick some dummies up with him. Bye. Good boy, good dog. Unless they're, unless they're doing something wrong, you don't need to talk to them a lot while they're doing their job. They should know what it is. Good boy. Leave it. Here dog good dog incidentally bill's a bill's a house dog lives in the house all the time except in the winter when he spends his nights outside so he stays acclimatized to the cold now what we want to do is uh what I've, I've shown you a little too much retrieving here i want to show you how to build that uh that waiting and that calmness into them that uh obedience and you never stop this with a dog regardless of how well trained you think he is. Now, so that we keep this dog's expectations right, I'm not gonna let him get that one. I'm gonna walk out and pick it up myself. If we if we always send them to pick up every dummy that falls, then they expect to pick up every dummy, and it's very hard for them to learn to sit still. Conversely, if you pick up a percentage of them yourself, then the dog doesn't expect to get everything that falls, and it's a lot easier for him to sit there. I like to pick up, with a young dog, I like to pick up 75% of them myself. For every four that, fought, that the dog sees fall out of the air, you, the trainer, want to pick up three of them, the dog gets one of them. If he's a hyperactive dog, you can make it, uh, the trainer picks up nine, the dog picks for every one that the dog picks up. Uh, if, he's, if he's a slow dog with, with, with less retrieving desire, maybe, then, then let him have half of them, or let him have three-fourths of them. Let him get three for every one that you pick up or let him get three of every four and you get the, the fourth yourself.